Ever wondered why the sky sometimes dances with colors at night? Some might say it's the universe's way of throwing a massive psychedelic rave. Others might insist it's the result of Santa's elves having a bit too much fun with the northern lights switch. But alas, as entertaining as those theories are, they're not quite on the money. The Aurora Borealis, or as it's commonly known, the Northern Lights, is actually Mother Nature's own light show. It's like she got tired of our neon signs and flashy billboards and said, hold my beer, I can do better. It's a spectacular spectacle of colors that swirls and twirls across the polar night sky. A celestial ballet, if you will, where the dancers are particles from the sun that have traveled millions of miles to put on a performance. So next time you see the sky putting on a light show, you'll know it's not aliens having a disco party. So you might be wondering, what makes the sky break into this fantastic light show? Well, sit tight and prepare to have your mind blown. It's all about the sun, our very own nuclear powerhouse. Picture the sun as the most epic popcorn maker ever. Instead of popcorn kernels, it's spitting out charged particles known as solar wind. Now, these aren't your average breeze, they're speeding towards Earth at a million miles per hour. That's like going from New York to Los Angeles in less than a second. Talk about speedy delivery. But here's where it gets more interesting. Our Earth, like a protective big brother, has a magnetic field that deflects most of these particles. However, some crafty ones sneak in from the top and bottom where the magnetic field is weaker. Imagine it like a bouncer at a fancy club. But instead of keeping out underdressed partygoers, it's deflecting high-speed particles. When these particles sneak in, they collide with gases in Earth's atmosphere. Like kids on a sugar rush, these particles get super excited and start bouncing around. As they calm down, they release energy in the form of light, and voila! We have our very own celestial disco, the Aurora Borealis. The different colors ranging from green to red to blue are the result of different gases getting their groove on. Oxygen gives us green and red, while nitrogen is all about the blue and purple. So think of the Aurora Borealis as Earth's version of a rave party. The sun sends out the invites in the form of solar wind, Earth's magnetic field acts as the bouncer, the atmospheric gases are the partygoers, and the light show, that's just them getting down on the dance floor. And that's how Mother Nature paints the sky with her own light palette. Picasso, you've got some serious competition. But wait, there's more to these lights than just a cosmic paint job. Now let's shine some light on the Aurora Borealis's lesser known yet equally fascinating aspects. How about we start with the fact that these celestial dancers, despite being a gazillion miles away, actually impact our Earth's climate? Yes, you heard it right. They're not just up there for the aesthetics. And the plot thickens. Different cultures have had their own interpretations of these lights. Some Inuit communities believe they were spirits of their ancestors, while others thought they were the fiery breath of giant sky dragons. I mean, who needs Netflix when the sky's serving such drama, right? But here's the kicker, folks. These lights? They're not just a one-time spectacle, they're a regular show, happening every night, just waiting for us to grab a bucket of popcorn and enjoy. Well, who knew the Earth had its own version of a Broadway show right in the sky? So, let's take a moment to appreciate the real star of the show, our dazzling Aurora Borealis. Picture this, you're standing under the vast expanse of the night sky and suddenly, like a cosmic disco ball, the sky dances with hues of green, purple, and red. That's our lovely Lady Aurora doing her thing. This isn't just any light show, folks. It's a cosmic ballet, choreographed by the sun, performed by the Earth's magnetic field, and applauded by the awestruck audience, us. And the ticket for this spectacle? Just a bit of patience and a ticket to the polar regions. But here's the kicker. These lights are not just pretty faces. They're the Earth's defense mechanism, shielding us from harmful solar winds. Talk about beauty with a purpose. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember it's not just stars and darkness, but a canvas for the greatest light show on Earth.